Hey guys, how's it going? This is X Products. Hope you guys are doing well. These are a couple of new products that I just received uh, today, actually. These are three um, red LED fans. They're the same ones as the blue ones that I recently got. So if you haven't watched the, that video, you could totally do that. See how they look and everything. But just imagine these red instead. Um, a PNY 500 gigabyte. Uh, 2.5 inch SSD so um, not the fastest reads and writes you know like 550 and 500 but like for an operating system and um, maybe like some applications and maybe some small games or so and then leave the rest empty because SSDs perform better when they're um, when they're not like half half to uh, like around half full that's you don't want to go more too much more than that um, but yeah this should be pretty decent it was really cheap it was like 26 bucks I think and then these fans for like 17 bucks all together. Um, um, you have to go like, it's on eBay and there's a couple different listings. If you see one that's more expensive, look for the same exact fans and a different listing and they'll be cheaper. Um, these are Vetro uh, cable extensions. So that's what they look like. There's a 24 pin just shown here and then the rest of them, uh, which are uh, four plus four, the CPU, you know? And then um, two, six plus two, so. If you have graphics cards with you know, two sixes or six and eight, it supports it all. And uh, these just hook up to your stock PSU cables, power supply cables. So they don't, these don't go inside your um, fully module power supply. They just extend or extension. So, um, but this video is about. Um, I'm just showing you briefly because this is the case that's going to go in. I'm going to install that later. I'm going to go to sleep right after this. But this is Johnsco uh, memory heat sinks. It supports, I know it supports DDR2, 3, and 4, and 5, I think, as well. I think it supports them all, actually. Um, this came from China. China. So, ah, uh, I hate that noise. Uh, uh, ah, okay, ah, uh, ah, I don't like it. Okay. Ah, uh, it's so irritating. Ah, uh, it's so squeaky. Ah, uh, oh, I bumped it. Sorry. Okay. Ouch. Ah. Uh, maybe use something else. Okay, so I ordered two, so it's just one in here, and then what the heck? Because um, I have a memory right here, just blank. Um, team group, yeah, team group uh, DDR3 at 1600 megahertz, right there. And the timings are 11, 11, 11, 28 at 1.5. Um, so these these uh, RGB heat sinks are going to have a little bit better thermals you know these chips aren't gonna be hot but and I don't I didn't really test it before and after but um, ooh. this is just instructions paper I don't need instructions I got this keep on bumping so sorry um, so yeah these uh, sandwich between the, uh, the memory modules and you have a thermal pad that um, transfers heat to it and it just it's mostly just for aesthetics. Um, ooh, nice. It's, it's metal. Oh yeah, she cold. So yep, John's bow advertising right there. I'm not the biggest fan of I wish they didn't have that right there. Um, but yeah, there's no way to control um, the lighting. So these are not ARGB, they're just RGB and the power is three pin fan headers. So like <laughs> you can't control the color, which is bad, um, but they work for older systems that don't have ARGB, like any RGB headers on the motherboard. So you kind of have to deal with, you, have, you know, work with what you got. It'd be nice if they had like a remote and like a little um, sensor that you, you know, can put on the bottom of your case and just doot, doot, doot. Um, but this is, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty nice, like brushed aluminum. It's it's metal, and then this is plastic right here, and then more advertising right there, John's bow. Um, so yeah, just one comes here, and um, the little sticker thing, and then uh, oh, oh, it's Allen. Okay, so I don't really need these. I don't think I have any Allens on here. Maybe she used what it came with. Thanks, Fridge, for not being loud right now. So, um, I guess I'll just do one. Okay, um, here are the thermal pads. Check 
down like that. I'm gonna use the bread tie and get this out of here. Get the kilo out of here. Uh, eh, there we go. So as long as you hide the cable so you don't really see it, you know, it's not going to be an issue. You can daisy chain them too. Um, so we can take uh, this apart actually because you can't just pop the memory in there. I mean, you maybe you can, but probably just be better if you just use the games, uh, the Allen key that came with it and. That. Oh, okay, okay. What's, I don't know what this is this right here. What is he? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know what those are. Um, it has a, you know, a manual, so you could look into that if you want. But I don't think it applies to me right now. I don't really care. But yeah, these were. $22, I think, for the food? So, or 20 bucks, maybe 20 dollars I think. So, like 21 bucks or so. So, the mem the RAM was 20 bucks and this was 20 So, it's looking like, like $40 RAM that's brand new that has RGB that you can't control the colors. <laughs> but, uh, still, you know, not too expensive. And it's gonna last. It doesn't have any imperfections. Nobody, previous owners dropped it or anything, you know. Lying us wasn't holding it. No. Okay, so she's falling. There you go. Okay. Got some weight to her. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then, I don't know what these are for. You know what? I'm gonna look at that manual here. I like figuring things out for myself, but so just one sided. So this thermal paste, it's not thermal paste, it's not a paste, it's a pad. It's uh, without chips. Oh, uh, okay, I got you. So they only use that little felt thing um, if your RAM is only on one side, just so it kind of like makes a barrier. Okay, I gotcha. So I don't need to use that if I use a uh, method on both chips. RAM with chips on both sides. This is what I need. Assemble method one. So I don't even need that felt thing. Gotcha. Okay. See, it's nice to have instructions, I guess. <laughs> um, doesn't really matter if I do sticker this way or that way. I'll just use sticker up, I guess. So, get this here. Go. My brain. Intense music. I don't know if I should remove that sticker. It's like, I'm not, these RAM sticks aren't hot to begin with. They're not like a problem. Um, so, really, I really need it, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm not even gonna worry about it. So I got, it's not perfect. It kind of like, it's like a smile, crooked a little bit. But mostly good. I got it on all the chips anyways. Um, I'll grab the other one. Do the same thing. That's perfection right there. Slightly tap on it just so it kind of like sticks. It's a little sticky, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll just go bigger. Bigger side first, I guess. And these are going to be obviously, you know, that much uh, long, like taller. So your memory is going to be, if you have a cooler, like an air cooler, that's, um, you know, it would, it might kind of get in the way. Then that might not be, this product might not be for you. Um, but just see your clearance and see if it's fine. Um, maybe it's out of the way and your cooler is just, you know, it's not even going to matter. So it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm matching it up with these like little plastic uh, ends, you know. And that's, that's it. So let's take this. Oops. Probably shouldn't have done that. Let's see if I move the, 
the little thermal pads. Yeah, okay, I didn't. I'm kind of stuck to this now. Um, let me see. I'll match it up and then I'll take it sideways here. Yeah, I think she's good. She's um pretty pretty even on both sides. And am I touching all of them? Yeah, I'm touching. There's like a tiny little corner piece that's not hitting, but pretty much, and then all of them are. This is not a big deal. <laughs> it's touching on like everything. Mm. All right, so, and after it's all good, i just take your little Allen key. I don't even know what size it is. Snug as a bug in a rug. So that's what she looks like. Pretty nice. And uh, I'm gonna do the other one. And then I'll show you what it looks like when the PC is turned on with these memory instincts uh, installed and all turned on and see what it looks like. And again, I can't choose the color, so I'm not kind of trying to hide that from the guys that you can control the color. There's what it is. After I was done, I tried to install it in my PC. And um, I did them uh, each memory module the heat sinks. I did them differently, where the cable comes out. So the other one, I, got, I have the cable comes out straight, which hides it a lot better. And then this one, and they, the the dims both go the same way, obviously. So this one has to go like that. So it's at the bottom, and you this the cable goes across, which looks bad. So I'm gonna. I'm going to switch it around and copy the other one and it will look a lot better and hide it better and yeah. And the label will be the same exactly, otherwise it would be like, like that and then the other one was like this. <laughs> okay, turn it on now. There we go. Just kind of kind of cycles between different colors and stuff which is cool I like that what do you guys think <laughs>